हॅलो फ्रेंड्स इंडिया ग्रोज मोर बनानाज दॅन एनिवेअर एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड बट अबाउट हा पाव पीच प्लांट गोज टू वेस्ट ऑन कंपनी इज टर्निंग दॅट वेस्ट इन टू बायोडिग्रेडेबल सॅनिटरी पॅड्स दॅट कुल हेल्प मोर पीपल हॅव सेफर क्रिएट विथ विथ डिस्पोजेबल प्लास्टिक पॅड्स ऑन द राईट कॅन बनाना स्टेम सेव्ह द कंट्री फ्रॉम माउंटेन्स ऑफ ट्रॅश फॉर दॅट वी व्हिजिटेड साथी टू सी how it is using world wide waste when sathi started out in 2015 only about a third of women in india had access to pads and that can mean more than just discomfort oh i work for those five days every month and that sets you back i was proud to be an indian but i also was ashamed that we cannot provide something of basic necessity tarun botra and christine kagesh too set out to help without creating more plastic trash and they found the answer in farm waste according to sathi just one banana plant stem can yield up to 3000 pads the stalks only bear fruit ones so after each harvest farmers clear the fields to make room for the new growth chirag desai is a researcher looking for new ways to use this leftovers the farmers are dumping it on the road side or canal side and it will create a huge environmental as well as social problems His team has turned banana plant fibers into fertilizer, fabric and even candy. The market is growing for such type of natural products. He shares some of his knowledge with Sathis founders. They stay here for one week. We give them a good training basics how to extract the fibers and all that. The first step is to cut the stalks into half. Worker pulls the halves upper layer by layer they feed this cellular like chunks into machines that leave just stringy fibers behind workers wash the fibers and dry them on a line then they are ready for second life the founder set up station with machine like this around the country so local fibers can extract fibers from their own crop space we have been closely working with 18000 of them on regular basis where we have set up different extraction units sathi pays the farmers for the fibers giving additional income to farmers that's a first part of our circular economy farmers can also use the liquid from stems as fertilizer <laughs> at the sathi factory workers feed fibers into machine that cut them into shorter pieces The next step is turning those pieces into this cloth. The founder told us this part is a secret. trade secret. We do a magical process once they reach our factory, convert them into a cotton like material with our patented technology. Which eventually will be pressed into more thinner and thinner uh, sheets. This is the absorbent core of the pad. So what is happening over here is they are putting all the different layers of the pad. together workers layer the banana fiber core between the other sheets tarun says these sheets are made from plants but will not tell us which plants he says he is worried about the other companies copying sathi after the pads are cut to size he tests some out from each batch using water mix with ink and the good part is that it is spreading instead of staying here leaking out of here the material throughout the land is utilized sathi says the adhesive on the back of the pads is non toxic but will not say exactly what is in it either the pads are ready to be sanitized using light what we use over here is a uvc light which sterilize or uh, reduce any kind of viral load finally workers package the pads so there is not much of a rocket science over here a simple packing they wrap each one in yet another secret plant based material and seal the packets with heat the founder say the pads and all packaging are 100% biodegradable and they send their products to a lab that confirm this this is a packaging made out of hygiene paper with no plastic coating on it roll it up use the same tape to stick it and throw it as it is Conventional pads are made mostly of plastic. If all the menstruating women in India use them, it will create an amount of trash 10 times the waste of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch every year. Sathi says if buried, its pad will break down in under 6 months. If they are left out in the open, 
it is more like 18 months. Before disposable pads were invented, people often used cloth, dried plants, or whatever absorbent things they could find. I would not say that these are always unhygienic methods of menstruation, but what makes it hygienic or unhygienic is whether the material is clean, how long it is used for. Many in India still use the cloth for their periods, which can cause infections if it is not washed and dried frequently. Sati sells its pads in pharmacies, at specialty stores, and online. And for each pad, the company sells it gives one way for, for free. free. We take it from people who have enough and give it to those who need. Most of the free pads go to people in rural areas who are less likely to have access to them compared to those in cities. We have successfully distributed almost 2 million pads now. Experts say free pads are helpful, but education is also key. We really need to go beyond just provision of pads now and talk about what it means to hygienically use them. Four to six hours is the maximum one should use and definitely change after that. When Sati introduces its products to a new area, it organizes talk about menstrual health for local women. At one recent session, Tarun spoke about pads and handed them out to attendees. So, I was in the AC, I mean, the poorest condition. Because if she takes a package of 40 or 50 rupees, she thinks that she will have to go to that day. And price is not only the issue. Cultural taboos can also stop pads from being used. And price is not only the issue. Cultural taboos can also stop people from buying pads. So, this is not a pap or a shrap. So, we should not see it like this. Though, it is becoming less common. Some traditional communities limit women's behavior while they are menstruating. पहले जैसे गांव में भी लोग को पीरियड आता था तो पांच पांच दिन घर के बाहर बिठाते थे अलग से उसका खाने की थाली सब अलग उधर और सिटी में भी बहुत से लोग करते थे जो जुने और रीति रिवाज को अभी भी ओ कर रहे वो लोग बहुत करते थे. Alka Ben has worked at Sati for about five years. In that time. She is seen attitudes towards bad shit. तब हम लोग गए थे ना साथ इस गांव में तो पहले कोई नहीं लेता था, अभी तो सब लोग ले रहे हैं, अभी तो वो दिक्कत नहीं है। She is able to support her family with her earnings. पगार आता है ना तो खुशी होती है कि वो कर सकेंगे, वो कर सकेंगे, वो ला सकेंगे, ऐसी खुशी होती है पगार आता है ना तो किसी के पास मांगना नहीं पड़ता है। Over the last ten years. Access to pads in India has risen dramatically. Art, activism, and government programs are making it easier to talk about periods. So, there is also a focus on the government that people can use sanitizer pads. There are a lot of awareness. But about one in four women in India still don't have sanitary period supplies. That is, tens of millions of people. But seeing how things have already changed keeps the founders going. A lot of women are having safe periods. The environment is not being polluted with plastic. The biggest service one can do is leave a greater legacy, a better world for generations to come. What's better than that? That's all about my today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you are watching my video for the first time, then make sure to follow or subscribe. I will see you guys again very very soon. Till that, take care, bye bye and thanks a lot.